Welcome back to the Tech Coach. So today we got a brand new iPhone 7 Plus Gold 128 gigabytes that we are going to first do an unboxing of and then we are going to show you how to back up your old phone and restore your new phone from your backed up iPhone. So we have this new iPhone and it comes in its nice Apple packaging that is always very sleek and exciting to unload. So let's get started. So first we have this plastic encasing. And there's a little green arrow here that shows us how to start un unpacking it. So let's, oh, it's always that nice sound, that, that plastic. And then we have the case. So we're gonna open up the case. So now that we've taken off the top, we see here designed by Apple in California, and we can take that off. And there you have it, the iPhone 7 Plus. So first, before we take out the phone, we'll see what's in this package here. And we open it up and it gives us some instructions. So welcome, just you know the basic instructions of how to turn on the phone and what the different buttons mean. And then we have the, um, the little wire uh, SIM card helper, we'll call it, uh, the wired key that you can open up the the SIM card slot with, and we'll definitely need that to put in the SIM card, so we'll keep that out there. And then just some more information, and then you can never go wrong with too many Apple stickers to decorate your new device or around the house. So we will put that back in the packet. Then we have, get to the exciting part, which is the phone. So we'll open that up, we'll take that out. Okay, so we have the phone, which comes with plastic casing. We have the wall adapter for the charge. We have the Apple headphones, and that comes with, um, those are lightning, the lightning adapter comes with the lightning adapter here so that we can connect it because there's no longer a headphone jack. We'll look more at that later, but you can see here there's a lightning cable. <clears throat> and it also comes with the lightning charger. I believe it is the standard length, the meter long case. All right, so now that we've gotten all those parts out, let's open up the phone. It has its plastic casing over it. So again, there's a tab for where to peel it off and that's always that satisfying peeling sound. So first the back, then the front. And let's power this bad boy up. So to power it up, you're just holding the side on the, if you're looking at the phone, it's the right, on the right side and you're just gonna hold it down. To power up. So now that I've powered up my phone, you come up, we can see a different prompt saying hi in a variety of different languages, and we'll just want to press the home button, which is the circular button at the bottom. And it's different than the older iPhone because it doesn't have the same tap touch uh, feedback, but something to get used to. And then we're going to choose a language, English. And we're in Canada, so we will choose the country, Canada. And we're going, we're, I've already set up my Wi-Fi to save some time, so we'll go with that. And now it's activating the phone, so that will take a few seconds, and now it's requiring me to put in my SIM card. So what I will do is, I showed you this little key earlier, so I will take it out. And on the side of the phone, on the right side, underneath the, the on-off button, you will see a little bit of a hole and you'll want to put the key in the hole and just tap lightly. A little bit harder than lightly actually. And it will pop up the SIM card. 
and it'll pop it open, the SIM card slot. So now you can take out the SIM card. And then what you will need to do is take the SIM card from your old phone and put it in, and I will show you how to do that in a moment. But before I do that, I want to make sure that my phone is my old phone is completely backed up so that I can restore it properly. So we'll take a quick break from where we are now and we'll back up the old phone. So now I'm going to show you how to back up your phone onto iTunes and it's really important that you back it up onto your computer to make sure all the information from your health kit and from your watch and all other devices are backing up as well. So what you will need to do first is you will plug in your your phone uh, your phone to your computer and then you will click on this little button up here and it will bring you to this screen and you'll change the settings here so you don't want it to be backing up to iCloud you want it to be backing up to this computer and you'll see that encrypt iPhone backup is on and that's what will allow all the information to be backed up to your computer properly and then what you will do is you will click back up now and that will take a few minutes or depending on the last time you backed up could take much longer oh, so now we're going to um, change the sim card from my backed up iphone 6 and we're going to put it into the new iphone 7 plus so i'll take off my case and again in the same place as where i showed you before there will be a place to insert the keyhole and you'll just apply with a little bit of pressure, it pops right open. And you'll take out the SIM card, and here we have the little guy. And we will place it in the new SIM card holder, the right way. And it's a little bit finicky to get in sometimes. You gotta match it up so that it's the right, right shape. And then you'll just slide it in. Okay, so we're back. All right, so I'm going to want to enable location services. And then I'll set up my Touch ID, and I'll do that another time. Set up Touch ID later. All right, so I'm just going to put in a quick passcode. And you're going to want to do restore from iTunes backup. So I'll click on there. And it will, it will prompt me to connect to iTunes. So I'll take my cord and I will connect that there. And then it will pop up. So now I'm on my screen and on iTunes and I'm going to press restore from backup and I'm going to select my iPhone and I can see the last backup was at 355 and I'm going to press continue and I'm going to read through the agreement and I'm going to continue and then the password that has been saved in my iCloud keychain is going to pop up and I'm just going to press OK so you'll have to put in your password if it's not saved and now it's preparing for the the backup and restore okay so now you see that it's restoring the phone this is 20 times the speed but it you know took just about under 15 minutes or so and the settings have been restored so now let's see what it looks like so now it looks like my iPhone has been restored I had a notification on my computer that says it's been restored and now it looks like it's restarting up using the restored settings so let's see how that goes So press home to upgrade, I'm pressing home. I'm gonna enter my passcode. So I've put in my Apple ID, I'm gonna go next. 
So now it's updating my iCloud settings. And you'll probably need to um, put in your password for a variety of different things. My app, uh, apps might make you sign in, so Facebook or Twitter. Um, you'll probably need to re-sign into those, and you'll you'll need to go into your your iPhone setting, our cloud settings, and turn Find My iPhone on. You can set up your credit cards. I'm gonna not gonna do that now. Set up later. I'm gonna say. and get started. So as you see, it has all my apps that are still on there. And my messages are starting to come up and I'm gonna you know, customize it and get ready to use it. And it feels great and I'm very excited to use it and excited to hear what everyone thinks about this video about how to set up your new iPhone. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and looking forward to seeing you in the next videos.